you. Just on your right side here. Saxon, right here, please. Right in the center. Saxon, right in the center. It's about this guy named Howard Holloway, who's kind of like a load time manager, and he hasn't. Nothing's really going his way, and then he finds my character Lydia, um, and he's got like a shot at the big leagues, and everything's going great. And then there's definitely a twist at the end, and he kind of has to choose between like morals and the American dream of you know being famous and being rich. I mean, there's definitely some funny moments, and it could be a comedy, but then there's also like a darker twist. It's funny. I I don't know if I would really call it a, dr a comedy. People say dramedy. I don't know. It was a story that when it came out, it didn't easily fit into a category. A lot of the movies that I love from the 70s, kind of Hal Ashby movies, they were funny and dark and sad, and uh, and this is something that was kind of like that. What is the good thing about being directed by a fellow actor? Does that make things easier? Oh, I love it. I love being directed by a fellow actor because they understand our process. They get it in a way that directors who are non-actors don't. So I absolutely appreciate that. It's like sitting back in a big, cozy couch that supports you and knows it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. I actually love it because he was there like in the scene with me. And so whenever he would like go run, check the monitors and stuff, like that I would like follow behind and like he definitely taught me like how the director sees things and the technical side of acting and then also like you know if there was something that we needed he would definitely get it because he was there with me I play um, Clark's secretary or assistant and I'm just hoping I finally he finally turns the corner so I can get paid huh mama got some bills I think the backdrop is about Hollywood um, and in a way it's about Hollywood but I think it's more about the transformative power of that everyone's going for in Hollywood or in any kind of business of I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Oh, I was just gonna direct it and I was really sure I wasn't gonna act in it but then that character evolved and he became a particular kind of aging beat up Hollywood loser that a lot of people felt I was tragically I was right for and um, it also felt like something I couldn't really give to anybody else it was there was something about the connection I had to it that was something that had never come my way and I was turning 50 and I thought well I think now's the time if I'm ever gonna try to do this